much do you know about the fun-loving and devoted Staffordshire Bull Terrier, sometimes known as a Staffy? Staffies are one of the most popular dog breeds in the United Kingdom. Here is all you need to know about Staffies. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier has a strong muscular body, an intense look, and a powerful stance, which can make it look like a scary dog. Many people are interested in the breed because it looks like a tough dog, but they're surprised to learn that the Stafford is a sensitive and loving friend who likes to play more than be tough. They see life as a fun adventure and try to get the most out of it. Size Staffords are 14 to 16 inches tall, with males being taller. Staffords weigh between 28 and 38 pounds for males and 24 to 34 pounds for females. Personality a good Stafford loves people from the time they are just few weeks old. They are never shy or mean. They do everything with energy and enthusiasm and are always on guard, even when they are resting. The temperament of this breed is said to be tough, brave, persistent, and curious. They are good at taking care of their family because they like people, but they are less likely to protect their property. But because they are so observant and interested in people, they'll always let you know when someone comes to visit whether you want them to or not. Temperament is affected by many things, such as genes, training, and how a person is raised. Puppies with good personalities are playful and curious, and they are happy to come up to people and be held by them. Choose the puppy in the middle, not the one who is beating up its siblings or hiding in the corner. Always meet at least one parent, usually the mother, to make sure they have good personalities and you feel comfortable with them. You can also get a good idea of what a puppy will be like as an adult by meeting its siblings or other relatives. Every dog, including a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, needs to be socialized as a puppy by being exposed to many different people, sights, sounds and experiences. This should continue for the dog's whole life. Putting them in a kindergarten class for puppies is a good start. Help them improve their social skills by inviting people over often and taking them to busy parks, stores that allow dogs, and on long walks to meet neighbors. Health Staffordshire Bull Terriers are generally healthy, but like dogs of all breeds, they can get sick. Even though not all SBTs will get these diseases, it's important to know about them if you're thinking about getting one. Find a good breeder if you want to buy a puppy. They should be able to show you that both of the puppy's parents are healthy. Health clearances show that a dog has been checked for a certain condition and found to be healthy. In SBTs, both parents should have health clearances from the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals for their hips and elbows and from the Canine Eye Registry Foundation for their eyes. Health clearances aren't given to dogs younger than two years old because some health problems don't show up until the dog is fully grown. Look for a breeder who doesn't breed their dogs until they're at least two or three years old. The breed could have any of the following problems. Canine hip dysplasia. This is a genetic condition in which the thigh bone doesn't fit snugly into the hip joint, which can lead to lameness or arthritis. The Orthopedic Foundation for Animals or the University of Pennsylvania Hip Improvement Program use x-rays to check for hip dysplasia. You shouldn't breed dogs with hip dysplasia. Elbow dysplasia Elbow dysplasia is a condition that is passed down from generation to generation. It is thought to be caused by the three bones that make up a dog's elbow growing at different rates, which loosens the joint. This can make your legs hurt. Depending on how bad the problem is, your vet may suggest surgery, helping your pet lose weight or painkillers. Patellar luxation is a common problem that happens when the patella, which is made up of the femur, patella, and tibia, is not at the right place. When this happens, the patella often slips out of place, causing the dog to skip or hop. People think it runs in the family. Patellar luxation can cause rubbing, which can lead to arthritis, a joint disease that gets worse over time. There are four levels of patellar luxation, from grade 1, which is a rare luxation that causes temporary lameness in the joint, to grade 4, in which the tibia is severely turned and the patella can be moved back into place by hand. This makes the dog look like it has bow-legged legs. Patellar luxation that is very bad may need surgery to fix. Care the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is a good pet that does well in any kind of home as long as it gets enough exercise every day. 
They should live inside and be able to go outside to a safe yard. Staffords are diggers like old terriers, so it's important to reinforce fences by putting them in concrete or burying chicken wire at the bottom to keep them from getting out. Electronic fences that go underground won't work for this breed. When another dog comes close to its territory, Stafford will not be scared. If there isn't a solid fence, other dogs can get into the yard, which can lead to a serious fight. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier can't stay outside for more than a few minutes in hot or humid weather because of its short face. It should always have access to shade and clean water. Feeding How much your adult dog eats depends on their size, age, build, metabolism, and how active they are. Just like people, dogs are all different, so they don't all need the same amount of food. It's almost a given that a dog who likes to run around will need more than a dog who likes to sit around. The quality of the dog food you buy is also important. The better the food, the longer it will last and the less you'll have to shake into your dog's bowl. <laughs> Color and care of the coat The Stafford Child Bull Terrier has a short, smooth coat that is close to the skin. It can be red, fawn, white, black and blue, any of these colors with white, brindle or any of these colors with white. The Stafford's coat sheds once a year and it loses very few hairs all year long. The coat is easy to clean with a brush and it dries quickly after a bath. Brush them once a week to get rid of any loose or dead hair. This breed doesn't smell too bad, so they don't usually need to be bathed very often. <laughs> Taking care of your teeth and nails are also important parts of grooming, at least twice or three times a week. You should brush your Stafford's teeth to get rid of tartar and the bacteria it attracts. <laughs> Every day is better. Once or twice a month, or as needed, trim their nails. If you can hear your nails clicking on the floor, they're too long. The feet stay in good shape when the nails are short, and don't get coat in the carpet and tear it. Children and other pets The Stafford is good for families with kids, but even though they are known for being patient and gentle, they should never be left alone with toddlers or young children. They can be wild, and if they aren't careful, they might accidentally knock down small children. Always show kids how to approach and touch dogs. And always watch when young kids and dogs are together to make sure no one is mouthing, biting, or pulling the other's ears or tails. Teach your child to never go near a dog when it's sleeping or eating, and to never try to take the dog's food. A child should never be left alone with a dog. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching!